Hey folks, Dan Free here, The Rate Update. Today we're going to talk about rental properties, investment properties, same thing. But why are so many investors still in the market to buy properties? It doesn't make sense. And many people are out there asking me, Dan, is this a good time to buy or not? Is their primary home? Well, let me show you why investors are still loading up. And so when the house goes on the market, if you don't buy it, somebody is. Okay, I'll, let me put it that way. So I'm trying to inform you why you might want to make that leap now, then wait for prices to go up, rates to go up, and even inventory to get gobbled up by investors. So let's get to it. So the first thing I wanna show is this, the demand for investment properties. So this is, was just published uh, recently on March 9th, 2022. So it just released. And it goes through here and says, real estate uh, investors purchased over 80,000 80,000 properties in Q4 alone in 2021, over $50 billion worth of uh, real estate, okay? Why? Well, because they can. And because they have the power of being able to increase your rents behind them. And this is from this year. So I'm not pulling stuff out from five years ago, 10 years ago, whatever. All this is brand new news. And you can go to wherever website you guys want me to go, I'll go. This is the Washington Post. Okay, so rents are up more than 30% in some cities. Yes, and they're not, that's not the norm, but I'm just showing you how extreme some of the rents are. So what I did is I'm like, okay, well, does this make sense for me as an investor? So let me look at it on the investor side. I look in the city, so I'm looking, say, hey, downtown Chicago, what, what can I get? What can I, what, how much rents can I get? So I plug in the areas that I'm looking for and I put in uh, apartments. Let's see what I put in. I want an apartment, condo, or house. Most of them just came out as apartments or whatever. And I put down, uh, what else? I want two bathrooms and an air conditioner. That's basically all I put, all right? So let's see my listings. We go through here and this one is coming soon, but you got, 3,700, 4,800, 4,800, 4,200. Um, next, 5,100. Let me change this just to go back. Let's take out houses and let's change this to, okay. So now we, here's where we go. These are a little bit more practical. We got three grand, we got 2,500, three grand, 3,200, 2,500. You get the point, okay? So the first thing is, is return on investment. That's why you invest, all right? So this is a calculation of how you calculate your return on investments. This is a return on investments for a finance transaction. Calculating the ROI on finance transaction is more involved. It's not that involved. Let me explain it to you. And I made an Excel spreadsheet within five minutes. You take the down payment that you needed on the property, which was 20% down, and that came to, in this case, $100,000 was at 20%, came to $20,000, all right? Closing costs, you're going to cl put the closing costs in there and then any any cost that you put into the property to remodel it. And that'll give you the, your total acquisition cost out of pocket. There it is right here. Okay. So there's also ongoing costs for the mortgage. So let's assume you took out a 30 year mortgage on a 4% rate and the borrowed 80,000 that would be uh, on the borrowed 80,000, the monthly pay principal and interest would be 381. Other expenses and so forth. So you take your housing cost total. Okay, so let's break this down and then we'll come back to this chart. Here's the housing calculator. So in this case, I put in three hundred fifty thousand dollars, putting down two, twenty percent. I'm just putting in a rate at four, uh, put in the rate at four, and then this advanced chart. You're going to put in the area that you're looking in and so forth, and it'll figure out how much taxes you would pay and everything else. So this puts my total payment at seventeen eighty six. Okay. So now I know I get $1,786 a month on my, on my uh, mortgage payment. And then based on the information that we saw over here, I could probably get about $2,500. So then what do we do? Well, a year later, you earn $12,000 a month. So you take your monthly rentals times 12, and then you extract out all your costs. So let me make it simple for you. Go over here. Here's what I did. So in this case, we bought a $350,000 home, put 20% down. That's $70,000. Closing costs were 3,200 bucks. I put $5,000 into the property. So I had out of my pocket, $78,000 out of pocket, okay? I'm getting rent of 2,500 a month. I just showed you how I calculated the mortgage payment. So I got 1,786 a month in uh, rents or um, my mortgage, okay? When it all settles down, 
my ROI, my return on my investments is about 11% a year. I like getting to 12, 14, 15% a year on your return on investments. But let's just say, okay, you know, what happens if my house declines or what happens, whatever. Over long term, the value most likely is going to come back. But what you also have on your side is the ability to raise rents. Okay, everybody's complaining about their rents going up. Well, landlords aren't because it, let's say this year I can come in and say, okay, now I'm going to charge you $2,700. Let's see what happens to my ROI. 14%. Okay, these there's coming back saying, you know, there's most areas are up 18%, 15 to 20%. So if you, I know that's not the norm, but let, let's say the following year, you got 14% on your money the following year. Then you increase this to 2,900. Just saying, it's a little increase. Where's what's, what's my ROI? 17%. You get it? Okay, so that's what I'm trying to explain, guys. People are still buying properties. Are you? Are you sitting on the fence still and saying, well, should I wait? Wait for what? Houses aren't gonna come down in value. Rates aren't going to get any better. Now I'm not, you know, I'm not out here peddling. You need to buy a house. You. I'm saying houses go on the market and they're going fast. I'm trying to explain the why. Okay. The why. We always try to explain the why. So this is why investors are still buying and why if you sit on the sidelines, you're going to miss out and your rent's going to continue to go up month after month, year after year. So I hope you find value in my videos. If you do, all I ask you to do is give me a thumbs up subscribe down below. Hit the bell every time I post a video, you get an alert. If you'd like to reach out to me and my team, we'd love to help you or talk you through this process. Give us a call at 844-775-5626. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.